morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start of your day this morning. I have my coffee here and I put a little bit of um, almond milk creamer in it so it tastes really good. Only four little things of sugar, so <laughs> sweetness. So I needed a little bit this morning after our cold week, but now it's in the 70s and it's really going to be nice today. have here in front of me a stack of the movies that I watched and maybe I will give you a little bit of a review. This was a suggestion by my daughter. My hair is going all over the place so forgive me. Saturday I'm getting my hair cut. Yay! <laughs> I always like long hair but now that I'm older I don't know. I just um, maybe want the ease of shorter hair. Could be. Anyhow darkest hour. I really enjoyed this. It was absolutely wonderful. Gary Oldman was so fantastic in this. He is such a great actor anyway. I always enjoy all of his performances. Uh, I could have not watched this. It wasn't my favorite movie and it's, I think I'm a little bit prejudiced because I remember when Tanya Harding actually did her terrible act at the Olympics, so I really am not interested, and I don't want to be that, <laughs> excuse me, I don't want to be that supportive. The Big Sick by Ed, um, Amazon. This was a really, really cute movie, and at the end, I found out it really was a true story, based in Chicago, and it's basically a story about relationships between cultures but it was really interesting. I like this very, very much. Um, okay, whoops. This next film is one of the first films that I watched, Get Out. It's very provocative, uh, kind of it's interesting, and I think it has a lot of twists and turns in it, and if you want kind of a scary, but not so scary, but a weird, weird concept within this film, you're going to like this, but it really was very well acted, and it was very good. Of course, The House of Cards, I've been watching this series since it first started, so this is always uh, a good thing to watch, and it's on Netflix, The House of Cards. Grace and Frankie, um, to be honest with you, Jane Fonda is not my most favorite person after what she did in Vietnam. Uh, very well acted. It's kind of funny, uh, but not my favorite television series by Netflix also. And this is really a, a Mr. Call Me By Your Name. Um, It got rave reviews, it was up for the awards for the Golden Globes, for the Academy, for Screen Actors Guild, but I thought it was one of the worst movies that I have ever seen. So I sometimes don't know whether it's me or whether uh, it's just, you know, I'm too old. But I just thought as an actress, when I watched this movie, I just thought it was just blah. I could have turned it off, but I had to watch the whole thing. Was absolutely not for me, but you may like to watch it just to see for yourself. I really never believe the critics' reviews because I sometimes march to a different drummer and I have different reviews. Moonlight, very, very, very good movie. Uh, it was, um, the, it says, with actors so vulnerable that you want to throw them in your, your arms around me. For me, that movie is Moonlight and It's Perfect, Rebecca Keegan of the Los Angeles Times. It was a very interesting film. Mudbound, I also liked. Uh, it was about veterans, uh, about two Australian fellows that met girls when they were overseas during World War II, got married, and the girls came back to Australia before their fellows, their husbands were still serving in the war, World War II. So I found it very interesting 
and uh, very well acted. Outstanding performance by the lead actress. And I see Mary J. Blige. Anyway, very, very, very good. This film, The Shape of Water, was so unusual and so well acted. Um, Sally Hawkins is the actress. I had not seen too much of her work before, but it's sort of an avant-garde movie. Um, the story was fascinating. So if you like unusual films that are very well acted and have twists and turns in them, I think you will like this one. This, this, I voted for this as my favorite movie of the year. It really was so different and so well acted. And um, Guillermo del Toro was the director and he really does great movies. A lot of great movies. Ah, this also was a great film. Uh, Three Billboards. Really interesting. You will never um, want to leave the room when you watch this. So well acted. I love, I love Frances. She's such a great, great actress. Frances McDormand, Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell, John Hawks, and Peter Dinklage all played great parts in this movie. I really liked it. Another disappointment. I love Greta Gerwig. I remember seeing her years ago in a, a movie called Frances Ha. Love her, love her, love her. She directed this movie. It was her first directorial debut. She won the Golden Globes as a director, first woman director in years to win the award, I believe uh, Barbara Streisand won it years ago. I was so disappointed in this movie. I didn't like it at all. So, it may just be me, as I said, you know, you might try to watch it, but I really couldn't get into this movie, and I didn't like it at all. Same with La La Land, that one years ago, I didn't like the movie. I just didn't like it. So, I guess I'm not the average person, but this is another thing. And of course, these are all series. The Crown, Glow, Orange is the New Black, and Stranger Things by Netflix. I am addicted to The Crown. I binged watch the second season all the way through. I think I did at least two or three episodes every night. But I love The Crown. Aren't just the new black. I used to really like that a lot. and I, I like it, but I'm kind of into uh, different types of series this year. So I did that. And of course, Winston Churchill, and I said before, with Gary Oldman, The Darkest Hour was really, really great. So that's what I've been doing for a while, and I was screening some others online. But you can be your own critic. I'm just giving you a little bit of heads up. Maybe some of these movies will be on um, Netflix or on Prime, Amazon, or on Hulu or on demand with whatever cable operator you have, they might be on. But if you like movies, that's just my my review of what I felt these movies were like. Today I'm doing laundry. I don't know, just for two people, we have so much laundry. It seems like I'm doing laundry every day. But the warm weather has come back, so that's really, really nice. I'm so excited about that. Thank you for joining me for coffee this morning. Do something today that, to make you feel happy, uh, make someone else feel happy. But I really love having you with me on this YouTube journey. So take care and, and just treat yourself today to something really wonderful. Good to see you again and cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.